It was the bare minimum. Myself, the videographer, and someone from UNICEF. You have a sense of how you might want that shoot to go, and then you find a child, and you find these amazing stories. So one of the students that stands out is Louis. He stood out, one, he had a bright red shirt, and the other children had yellow and blue. More than just the color was his attitude and his enthusiasm. He really, um, I think, stole the show, if you will. So what was interesting in filming was the tangible surprise of somebody opening and unboxing what they call school in a box, which is a large container that has all the supplies for a school. In Haiti, these new rebuilt schools um, are really well kept. They're, uh, they're still outdoor, again, being in Haiti, they're not completely enclosed in some of the structures. So the one we were at had various uh, classrooms, um, but they take such pride in the school. And, and one of the things that UNICEF has really made some achievements on is I think before the earthquake, less than 20% of the population would go to school. And now we're looking at I think 70 or more than 70% of kids have the ability to go to school. So education is a real way of looking at sustainable change and transformation. It doesn't take a lot. And then you think about how many Canadians are there? If everyone gave a dollar, <laughs> imagine what we could do, the difference we could make.